This week, we go radical in some radicals. I decide I don't like Dr. Pepper. And I get overtaken by a Womble. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gran Turismo Weekly Race Guide here in 2022. Now, we've had an update today, so it's all a bit weird. It's a weird time to release. It's a weird day of racing. I did race C three times. Uh, I didn't do it a fourth, but I'll explain that when I get there. But in the background, we actually have a absolutely quality, quality race A. It is the Radicals at Laguna Seca. Oh my word, this is awesome. Let's look at those race details then. We're racing four laps here at Laguna. It's a grid start. I mean, on sports hard tires with tires well fuel and tires well tire wear. Bop is fixed. So this car is absolutely awesome to drive. This is one of the best race A's I have seen. Timestamps in the background if you want to check those out. If there's a particular race you want to go to, specifically race C guide is going to be a different race to what race C is shown. But that's because I already made it while the update was happening. Anyway. Without further ado, let's jump to this first race. Let's have a look at exactly what happens as well as a lap guide as well. Here we are then at the start in the Radicals. Now, we do have TCR Max. Max, I don't see you on the team sheet. So if you haven't signed up yet, please do. Then I can make you an official driver. But TCR will say means that we should have a good race here. Trash control on one for the Radicals. Just to get going here, you can see how that works. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. As uh, so we go side by side with uh, Borgetes there, the Spaniard, and head down towards turn one. Now, I got a bit scared here because I was like, oh my word, this is going to be crazy. But you know what? Fair play to everybody. It's a little bit touchy there. I mean, it's to be expected. We've just had an update, a physics change, or at least suspension and braking change. So it's always going to be a bit weird. But hey, fair play to everybody. As we see the Italian there go off there in the distance, a bit of oversteer. We're going to get on the inside of that Italian. Two yellow radicals side by side. Heading towards this right-hander then. And we're going to get the job done there. We have TCR Max 850 up ahead. Having a fight with Benj there. And actually getting through into that P6 position. And towards the left we go then. Benj looking. Now, these cars, these are fun. They're catchable. You can be aggressive with them. They look cool as we give Max a bit of a bump draft there. Heading towards the kink here. The deadly kink as we go through here. Oh! It claims to claims three claims four actually. That real oh someone's got fully around there. I think that was the Italian as we advance a lap later. There was a fair few people off there. It's a very dangerous corner to do. Now we went a little bit deep here. Unfortunately, a little bit too deep. Great, even more so. And unfortunately, that gives us a 0.5 second penalty. And we have to take it this lap as well. So it's all about getting away from the car behind as quick as possible and staying with I am Nuggets. And Dav, Dav is back. Dav's appearing more times than Shelty now as we head towards this left-hander then in we go now i did race shelty today unfortunately you're not going to see shelty just because uh, it was one of the first daily race i did and i've done three so um, yeah unfortunately i'm not showing that one all uh, right we take the penalty and we're going to advance straight into i say advance we're just carrying on into a lap guide then so you're going to head down towards the first corner here on the right hand side you're looking for that three board or the line whichever one you want to use here i'm breaking just before it here and you're going to drop to third gear now you can do you second but you want to be short shifting this car a little bit. You'll hear the turbo spool like happen and that's where you want to be. So you sort of short shift. But third gear through here and continue out. And once that spool ends, that's when you change gears. You'll listen out for it. As we head towards this right hander on the left hand side where the sand turns into gravel. That is uh, your brake marker here. You want to get as far left as possible. Dab the brakes and sort of turn in and keep the car balanced. As through we go, and I am looking at getting all sorts of sideways. And now, this corner you can lift and just turn in. I dab the brake a little bit here and try to slow the car down. So, pick and choose what you want to do there. You might want to just dab the brake a little bit just to get a bit of consistency and then start lifting off and just seeing what you can do there in terms of aggression. Now, this left hander, we don't have the billboards on the right hand side anymore. So, you've got a choice of the white mark on the uh, concrete there or getting as close as you can to the number two. I'd use a white mark just after that leaves your screen on the right hand side. That's when you're going to hit the brake. Stay in third gear. And you want to be going up to fourth before the kink. So you notice how I short shift there just after halfway. And the turbo ends. And you're looking for that number two board. So I've gone 100% on the brakes here. Now, you've got to be careful about turning in too early. It's very easy to do that in this car because it just wants to turn in. It's a track car, of course. Um, so here we go through that corner. We both nail that very nicely. Nugget with a very nice four-wheel drift there through that corner. Well played. Now, you see how the turbo there, the impact of the turbo versus Nugget. It was a big, big difference. Now, we've got 
Uh, the three boards coming up here. Now, you break, try and get as close to that as possible. I'm on the inside, going to be outside of the court screw here. So I had to break a little bit differently, but that's what you're aiming for there. Good bit of racing there with I Am Nugget. And as we leave that corner, still side by side. A little bit of it, nothing major here. Now, you normally lift for this corner. Don't really break. You just lift in, try and bounce the car through the corner. Get towards that left hand side as quick as possible. And you're looking for either the two board or the start of the red and white curbing there on the left hand side. Uh, now, I'm going to keep it in fourth gear here. I, originally, I was doing third, but I keep it in fourth now. It seems a bit easier. And through there we go as we then head towards the last corner. Now, what we're looking for here is just a three board here. Um, I tried picking out my usual markers and it was a bit too late for them. So, pulling it back a bit using that brake board of number three uh, and stay in third gear here as well so we're going to clip that left hander and through we go and accelerate out and you can just hear that turbo again i know it's quite quiet because i'm commentating over it but you can see the difference again just being in that turbo kicking in it just pushes the car along so so now look at that we're miles ahead straight off the bat there with dav as we take that third position in towards turn one we go do we keep it a little bit deep by myself there but just enough to keep that position. So what we're going to do now is advance towards the end of the lap because nothing really changes. We catch up to P2 a little bit here, but that's going to be another podium for us in the weekly race, guys. We're not doing too bad so far with those, but this race, do check it out. Do have a go. It's absolute glorious fun. Uh, and yeah, I'm very impressed. Now, I think I Am Nugget could be my driver of the week this week. We'll see though. We'll see later on. Let's jump to race B where we head to a common combo in italy welcome then yes to lego majore gp and we are in group four machinery so yes we've got the usual combination here that we've experienced for so long in gt sport let's jump straight to those race details then We're racing four laps here at lego majore gp it's a rolling start but no need to worry about it although it is a bit slow Racing medium tyres, tyres on fuel, tyres on tyre wear, and the bot is fixed. Well, I say it's fixed. There is an update to the bot in the patch. People are currently testing that out right now, but the Atenza still a very, 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 very quick car. So that's the car we chose. TCR Chelsea, thank you so much for the livery. We've seen this for quite a number of weeks now. It is a glorious livery, and I will keep on using it at the moment. Uh, because, I'll say, glorious. What else do I need to say? Let's jump to the race then. Let's have a look exactly what happened as well as a lap guide. Because in this one, I actually hit somebody. We are then at the start. Check out that grid of mostly attenders. We've got an alpha at the back there. That's an interesting choice. As we get ready in the TCR delivery, the Mazda Atenza Group 4 car starting at 20 miles an hour, which is... Uh, yeah, kind of interesting and slow. Uh, so be ready to change gear very quickly if you start at that speed, that is for sure. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to start warming up our tyres. Remember, tyre wear means tyre temp. And what we're actually going to do is advance a bit further forward because we're quite spread out here in terms of the race. And let's get into the pick of the action with the French driver, Gib, and the Portuguese driver, Manpinto. As we head towards this right-hander then, uh, we're going to look down the outside and then the French driver down the inside of Manpinto. That's not going to quite work here. They back out of that. We're going to be side by side with Gibb then as we head up the hill for the first time of four laps here. And we're going to chuck it into the left. But the Portuguese driver keeps that position for now. Well played, Manpinto. In it towards the right, we've got to remember to cut that quite a lot. We'll talk that about that a bit more in the lap guide, of course. Now, Man Pinto goes a bit slow here, so I try an unusual maneuver here. Get on the outside, on the inside for this. I have to lift off quite a lot. There's a tap there or a collision of cars, but it was a. You know, I was there. There was a lot of space there for me, and you see, Man Pinto didn't go off either, so fair play. We keep on racing as we head down towards this right hander. Then, Banky Boy is here, and we get the car stopped. Through we go and carry on in P10 for now. Let's advance a bit further on then. It's the end of the lap. Start lap number two. We're going to head towards the braking zone here. And uh, we break, 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 break. Chinatown slows down a lot more than I expected. I hit Chinatown there. I wait for Chinatown to go there. There was enough space for me to do that. As we come around the corner. I wipe my hazards on as well just in case they're looking behind. And I got a penalty. So completely my fault. But we're going to advance a lap later where we catch up to Chinatown again. And I got very scared there. Breaking in that corner. It's not something I personally do. Um, and obviously, this is different driver ratings, just racing together. Definitely don't break on that corner. That's all I can say. It's not a corner to break on. Let's head down the hill then towards this right-hander. Now, with the new update, the braking is very odd. So you'll notice I'm braking in slightly different ways now than maybe I used to. Uh, and trying down there gets it all sorts of wrong. Going to go on the inside there, up into P9. Now, we've got Matt Strupp ahead. Matt's the 
said hello in the chat. So hello to you, Matster. A shout out to you as we go through the left. And then it's going to be the right hander, Kink. And we've got a big, big, big run. We use all the circuit there. Down the inside of Matster, then in towards the right hander we go. Going to get that done up into P8. But you may have noticed here the grid is so spread out here. So, so spread out. All right, lap guide time. First corner is always a blue van man. Yes, on the left hand side. As blue van man leaves your screen, that is what you're using. And there we go. So drop to third gear, hit the inside curb. And then as we head towards this right hander, the end of that white bit on the grass, that is your brake marker for this one. And you're going to drop to second gear for this one then. So there we go. Bounce the car through the corner. Sorry, out the corner. These tensors should grip very nicely, being all wheel drive. Head towards the right side. You're going to lift off a little bit here. Do not break for this corner. Just lift off. We'll get the car on the inside of the curb. Get over towards the left. And as the orange barrier ends and it goes to green on the right hand side, that is when you're going to break. And you want to turn in and avoid hitting the sausage. These sausages are actually more lethal than I remember on this circuit. So in we go. We clip the curb. And you can use a bit more of the exit if you want to. We don't this time as we head down the hill then. So we've had to identify a new brake marker here. For this corner with a new pit entry there for the other circuit. Now, I've started using a black line that is on the white bit there as my brake marker. You might want to use the curb potentially, the end of the curb, but I was using that more of my, as my marker uh, as I go into the brake. You notice again, you tend to get a little bit squirrely under braking, and that is the new, literal new physics that have come into the game as we leave that corner then and head up the hill. Now, this is a hard one to get right. So, the, the critical marker I'm using at the moment is the end of that fence. As the end of that fence leaves the screen, I'm waiting for like 0.3 of a second and then braking and that seems to work out well but it's a very difficult corner to get right i'm going to clip the left now you want to cut a lot of this right hand side make sure you still stay on the curb a little bit and then turn early for this left it stops the understeer and you can just flat it then as i have done as we have a run on a sylvia we don't see a sylvia in group four very often there we have it naboo up ahead and we have that slipstream as well so in the slipstream they whack their indicator on i do notice this so they start to lift off and i go clean on through thank you so much you don't have to do that though you can always race me as we head towards banky boy and it's a 50 meter board or the end of the pit wall whichever one you'd like to use that is what i'm using this week uh, very good brake markers you're going to stop the car use all of that camber get on the inside accelerate through the corner happy days job done as we head up the hill then this is flat out on the left clip the curb make sure you stay as far left as possible and then in towards the right and try not to touch the grass there use all the curb but don't touch the grass now as we head towards this right hand up we're using an annoying brake marker that nobody likes but i do there's a gap in the trees there i've highlighted it. it's right behind the um the times but you'll notice it as you race use that so as that gap appears on your screen or gets to the edge of your screen sorry break turn in you notice i broke a little bit later that's why i went a bit too deep Second part, this is where you're going to dab the brake a little bit and turn in. You keep it in third gear throughout this double apex corner, um, or two corners basically, um, but you're turning before the end of that curb. As you see, I dab the brakes a little bit, get the tyres on the inside and accelerate through. This sausage, very deadly, avoid it on the left-hand side. Do not touch that sausage, um, otherwise you'll be bouncing everywhere. Right, the final corner then. On the right-hand side, you have a black sign there. You're braking as that leaves your screen here. As you can notice, I've just started to head towards the brakes. Um, you can brake very late in the turns. So you want to clip the inside if you can and accelerate through the corner. And that is how you do a lap of Lego Majore GP. This is actually the fastest half of the race just. But hey, we take those. They're W's at the end of the day. And there we have it. So a race that I'm not actually that fond of, to be honest. I think will probably the race I would avoid. And I'd do A and C mostly. Speaking of C, let's head to a legendary circuit in France. Welcome to Le Mans then, the 24-hour circuit, including chicanes. And we are racing in Group 2. But it does mean we get to race some legendary Le Mans cars all the same, as well as Super GT appearing here, which is quite unusual. Although, you really don't want to use those cars. Let's just sort of race details then, first of all. It's five laps here at Le Mans. It's a rolling start. You will have to be careful wherever you start here. Traction control is advised. Racing medium tyres, times five fuel, times five tyre wear. It's slightly significant, and Bop is fixed. Now, I did this race three times today. I've done it in the CLK, first of all, which was terrible at the beginning. This was before the patch. I then did it in the BMW, which you will see later on. Uh, not BMW. I keep calling it a BMW. It's a McLaren. McLaren F1 GTR. And then I did it in the McLaren F1 GTR after the patch, and it completely changed again. So that's the race you will see, the third race, because that is the current patch. And then I'll show you a lap guide of the previous one, and then you'll see the difference sort of. You won't have to pit here. 
and you don't want to because it's a long pit stop. Um, so you will have to fuel save a little bit, depending on the car. Um, and tyres should be okay. They were a bit iffy before the patch, but they're fine now after it. Let's jump to the race then. Let's have a look exactly what happened as well as a lap guide as well. Here we are then at the start. And you see everybody in the CLKs. I wasn't sure whether the CLK would be any good, as I say. This was my third race and the first one. This was the better car. It's not now. I would pick the CLK, but make sure you put fuel map on six as you're waiting at the start and save you that tiny bit of fuel. Now, because of where we're starting in the four chicanes, put traction control on one. I highly recommend it. I was on fuel map two as well, just to save a little bit. I have no idea whether fuel had changed or not. But let me tell you this. The fuel consumption has changed on a lot of cars. So just be careful. As we advance further on then to the Mulsar. And we've got Womble behind us. Shout out to Womble, of course. Check him out on YouTube. Uh, it goes clean on by in that CLK. So I kind of realized here at this point. Maybe I'm in the wrong car. Or maybe Womble is actually stopping. I wasn't too sure as they go side by side in towards the first UK. And I thought, ooh, maybe I could get in on the action. And I go on the outside here of Cloudy. Now, fair play to Cloudy because obviously I came from way far back. And he, they recognized. They recognized it was on the outside. And it gave me a bit of room. So fair play to you, Cloudy. That is really good stuff. Right, let's advance a bit further on because in this race is a lot of advancing on because there are massive gaps throughout the field. As you see up ahead, we've got Womble overtaking Rosanna Diaz here in towards the right-hander. And I'm not sure what went on here, but Womble ends up in the gravel trap with Rosanna continuing on. And Rosanna actually has a five-second penalty for that. You will see that a little bit later on. In towards turn one, we've got they dive down the inside of somebody here. Big tap on them and they're tapping each other once again. They leave that corner. Bit of contact here and oh my word, the uh, South African into the barrier. We get on the inside of Rosanna. I thought, oh, thank goodness. We've passed it all. Happy days. As we then head towards this left-hander and accelerate through. Now, this car is actually easy to drive since the update, um, but it's a bit slower because they updated the bot. Uh, as you are seeing now with Rosanna catching up to me at a fair pace. So I was a bit concerned with this driver and I kind of guessed they were going to go for the move here. So when they instantly pulled out and then released the brakes like that, I was just like, okay, you go for it. Just don't whack me off, please. As we continue on through nine and a half seconds of penalties. My word, that's a lot. I leave here and I'm like, okay, go, 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 go. And then they start really fuel saving. I'm like, oh, come on. You're on the last So I go towards the outside. They turn over to get the bump, which was a tad frustrating. So I flash away because it's not very nice. And I go to the left. I'm like, are they going to try and pump me here or not? So we continue on past them. And then they tap my rear. Maybe going for the pit maneuver. I'm not too sure. Um, so a bit concerning. I don't fully know what's going on there. Even so, into the left and then the right we go. And we're having the same fuel map to the entire time really so if you are using the uh, mclaren and it's a bmw again let's make sure you're in fuel map too so we do lose rosanna eventually to those penalties and we catch up to uh Pouet here unfortunately goes off at a very hard and dodgy place to go off because you're gonna lose all that speed down the mulsan as well uh, but we'll take p8 any day of the week as uh, we continue on through there you can see my fuel is working out very well it's 20 percent pull up we're bang on the money we advance further on then in the race. Now, what is happening here? Oh, we've got somebody behind us here. TBR Cerbera there goes around the outside once again in a CLK. And you can see that speed difference in these cars. So you are looking to fuel safe here in these cars just to make sure you don't have to pit. The pit's like 40 seconds. Trust me, if you're pitting, you ain't coming nowhere. Uh, but Cerbera with a good move there at Indianapolis. In towards our Nage we go then. You just clip that curb, accelerate through the corner. And obviously, we're going to retake this position from Cerbera as they take that 0.5 second penalty, which will be four track limits, as we are very well aware. What, half seconds of four? So we go to lap four then. As I say, we've been advancing further on through here. And uh, in the back, in the mirror, sorry, in the background, we see one ball go flying by. Hi, I can't speak today. Bye. In the CLK. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I need to keep up with one ball for the last lap here. We may be able to get an outcome irrespective so i'm going to start pushing a little bit here making sure i stay with womble as much as i can so let's advance a bit further on do we stay with womble no we don't so a lap later we're just missing out we're in the same sort of area as well as we come through this right hander and continue on towards the left i'm going to head in towards this indianapolis i don't i forgot the corner name then and there is an incident up ahead we've got you goes off a oh, ye not you you ye ye you <laughs> Uh, he's off. Yeet. All right. <laughs> Towards the right we go. And uh, we've got Rose there. Five and a half seconds of penalties. So we know we get in that position. And we're now in touch with Womble as we head towards the end of the race. As uh, 
Nothing really changes in the end. That CLK a bit too strong. You can see that there was another McLaren in this race. No idea where they finished, but I finished in P4. So definitely pit the CLK. Definitely don't pit. And that is the best thing to do. Now, there is a lap guide. I'm about to show you that. It is from a different race earlier on, but the brake markers are the exact same. So here we are again in the McLaren. Um, so you're going to head towards turn one. We're a bit faster than normal here. And you're going to get towards the right hand side. And what you're looking for are those total signs on the right hand side. They are your brake markers here. Get in a straight line, break before them or as close at them as possible. And you're going to drop to third gear then. Okay. And you want to clip the left. And then you can cut a bit more of the right if you want to. Straighten up and accelerate out the corner as best as you can. As we see, my name is Jeff. Off there. <laughs> as we continue on towards this left hand. On the right hand side, you've got that big black lamppost there on the right hand side. Use that as your brake marker here. So as that hits the edge of your screen, you're going to brake. Fourth gear is the best gear for the Macca. It'll be similar in the CLK as well. Because I was using the exact same brake markers in that car in my first race. So through we go. Now, as you head towards Tetra Rouge, on the right hand side, when that blue paint starts to appear on your screen basically and gets to the edge of your screen you're going to lift off don't break for tetra rouge just lift off turn in and then when you feel safe accelerate through the corner do not run too wide here you'll get a penalty it's better to not get a penalty than to even go aggressive there so the first chicane you're looking for the 100 meter board try and get as close to that as possible it is possible to to get close um, but uh, you don't want to go too deep here. It's better to slow down uh, much more and have a better exit than the other way around as Thierry gets it a bit wrong there. So three we go. Accelerate out the corner. Be careful that white line. It can give you a penalty as we leave that corner then. So we're going to be in the slipstream of the NSX. Here, yeah, the Super GT car. This should be no problem. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the gain there. Huge gain as we go by. I'd say the bops change slightly now. Um, but we're going to head down towards the second chicane then. So you're going to pass, I think that's a 300 meter board. That's a 200 meter board. You're looking for that 100 meter board right there. Again, break at it here and drop to third gear once again. And you want to cut a lot of the inside on the left and then gives you a good run for the right. If you can, we just clip it this time. Again, be careful that white line on exit. I'm trying to avoid it at all costs so I don't get a penalty at all. We can head down towards Mulsanne then. And as the curb protrudes into the circuit the most you know comes into the circuit the most that is your brake mark here i'm breaking just before that but i'm actually breaking the tiny bit too early here you will see that because i've got to change my braking slightly so there we go we're going to clip the curb on the inside accelerate through the corner and carry on out right let's head towards indianapolis then so you want to lift a little bit here and you want to get straight and then just before that tarmac on the right hand side you're going to hit the brakes 100 percent going to really drop down the speed here be careful of oversteer it's better to just lift off before this just to make sure the car is stable for this left hander three we go then on indianapolis we're going to head towards our nausea that's our normal brake marker on the right hand side it's the last tree on the right that's all you're looking for here as if you as if you get a taxi home and you go yeah last tree on the right mate um or last lamp post on the right you look at that tree you're gonna break and you're gonna drop to second gear then um, through we go and exit. So we continue on out of there. Flat out towards the Porsche curves. This is the Leonidas there with a penalty. In fact, I got punted by Leonidas in this race, but I think it was an accident. Just didn't wait up. And that's that penalty for them. So we're going to head towards the Porsche curves now. On the left hand side, we're looking for the green there. Now, it's not as amplified or not as obvious in this game anymore as it was in GT Sport. Uh, but you're looking for that. And you're going to dab the brake a little bit here and then turn in. Now, I broke a little bit more there. But remember, we're going much faster than we would be with the new bop. So then through this corner, you're just trying to keep it safe here. Same sit gear. And then as you head towards the right hander, this is where you may want to change gear down to fifth gear. Come on, Tidge. You know you want to. And then that second to last sign on the right hand side, the RMC. As you see, I'm in fifth gear now. You're going to break and turn in before that sign leaves the screen. That way uh, that way, you will cut the curve perfectly. As you see, I didn't turn in before the it um, left the screen. And that's why I ran a little bit deep. Right, we're going to head towards the chicane then. The last part of the circuit. So on the right hand side, we've got the barrier changing all the time in terms of color. So it's dark gray to light gray. Or you can try and aim for that lamppost there as well. I use the barrier more than the lamppost. But combined, they work very well. Now, fourth gear for the first part. As three we go. And then it's third gear for the second part. Be careful of oversteer. As you go over these curbs, it will bounce the car a little bit. And that is going to be that. Now, I'm going to advance to the end of that race. Because, as you see, I won by a mile. Because I was the only one who didn't pit. However, 
as I say, CLK is the better car now. So ignore this result screen. This is invalid and void. In fact, I'm going to take it off and say thank you so much for watching this week's weekly race guide. I do hope you enjoyed it. Do give it a like on the way out. Subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all the content. But that's going to be it for me, folks. Au revoir, farewell, and have a good evening wherever you are in the world.